Title, The Nightmare Leak. Travis Kelsey had always been the life of the party, big personality, bigger plays on the football field. But one night, everything changed. He was winding down after a victorious game, relaxing at home, when his phone buzzed relentlessly. It was his friends, family, and a flood of notifications on social media. Did you see this? You're trending. What happened with Taylor? Confused, he opened his Twitter feed, and there it was, a video posted by Diddy that was rapidly going viral. The title read, Shocking footage, Taylor and Travis's secret night out. His heart sank as he clicked on the link. The video opened to footage of him and Taylor Swift, laughing and dancing at a private party just days before. They were close, sharing whispered jokes and playful banter. But there was one moment that made Travis's stomach drop. A brief clip of them sharing a seemingly intimate moment, leaning in as if they were about to kiss. Travis felt exposed. They had been keeping their budding relationship under wraps, enjoying the thrill of secrecy. Now, thanks to Diddy, the world was privy to their private moments. It wasn't just embarrassing, it was a full-blown nightmare. As the night progressed, the clips kept coming. Paparazzi photos surfaced, showing him and Taylor getting into a car together. Fans and tabloids began speculating wildly. Some were supportive, others were scathing. His phone buzzed with calls from reporters wanting comments, his team wanting damage control, and friends wanting to check in. Travis couldn't escape the whirlwind. Everywhere he turned, people were talking about him, speculating on the status of his relationship with Taylor, and sharing opinions. He went to bed that night feeling overwhelmed, unsure of how he could recover from this public exposure. The next morning, he woke up to a barrage of memes and tweets. Some were funny, but others crossed the line, mocking him and Taylor. He knew he had to act fast, but how could he salvage the situation? Determined to confront the leak, Travis arranged a press conference. He stood in front of the cameras, his heart racing as he prepared to speak. I want to address the recent footage that was leaked, he began, it was a private moment between two people who are getting to know each other. We value our privacy, and I hope everyone can respect that. As he left the stage, he felt a rush of relief. Maybe this would put an end to the frenzy. But then, he saw a notification on his phone, Taylor had posted a video of her own. Curious yet anxious, he clicked on it. Taylor sat in her living room, looking composed but with a hint of sadness in her eyes. I just wanted to clarify some things. The footage that was leaked doesn't define our relationship. It was a beautiful moment, and I hope people can appreciate it without turning it into a spectacle. Travis smiled, feeling a surge of admiration for her strength. They both wanted to stand their ground. As the days went on, the media frenzy slowly subsided, but Travis learned the hard way that fame came with its price. He and Taylor became closer, navigating the chaos together. They learned to laugh at the memes and comments, turning the nightmare into a bonding experience. Eventually, they made a pact to communicate openly, to share their joys without fear of public scrutiny. The leak that had threatened to tear them apart ended up solidifying their connection, reminding them that no matter the chaos outside, what mattered was their relationship inside. And so, amidst the frenzy, Travis Kelsey found not only a partner in Taylor Swift but also a way to embrace his public life with a newfound understanding. The nightmare was over, and a new chapter began, one where love could flourish, even in the spotlight. Hash 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 the nightmare unfolds. Travis Kelsey had always prided himself on his ability to stay out of the spotlight when it came to his personal life. As a star tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs, he knew the importance of maintaining an image, especially in the realm of celebrity relationships. But on this particular day, everything changed. It was a crisp autumn afternoon, and the NFL season was in full swing. Travis had just come off a high from a game-winning touchdown and was preparing to celebrate with his teammates. He felt invincible, riding the wave of success both on and off the field. That is, until he checked his phone. As he scrolled through social media, his heart sank. Diddy, the famed hip-hop mogul, had posted a video that had gone viral in mere moments. The clip was a montage of candid moments featuring Travis and none other than Taylor Swift, his recent love interest. Clips of them laughing, sharing drinks, and dancing together at a private party were interspersed with snippets of Taylor singing, her carefree spirit shining through. The caption read, When you're in love and the whole world can see it. Hashtag Travis and Taylor. Travis's heart raced.
The footage had been shot in private moments, captured without his consent. How did Diddy get his hands on it? The idea of his personal life being paraded around by someone so high profile made his stomach churn. He quickly texted Taylor, but her response was a mix of disbelief and panic. I can't believe this. I thought we were careful. As the hours passed, the backlash intensified. News outlets picked up the story, and headlines blared everywhere. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, a love story exposed. Social media exploded with memes and commentary, ranging from supportive to downright cruel. The nightmare grew worse when the footage revealed more than just innocent moments. A brief clip caught them whispering sweet nothings, and another showed them sharing a quick kiss. The media dissected every frame, and the public's imagination ran wild. Travis's phone buzzed incessantly, with friends and family reaching out to offer support, but all he felt was a heavy weight of humiliation. He couldn't escape the feeling that Diddy had turned his life into a spectacle. Determined to take control of the narrative, Travis and Taylor decided to hold a press conference. Standing side by side, they addressed the leaks and the invasion of privacy. We never intended for our relationship to be a public spectacle, Taylor stated, her voice steady but filled with emotion. What Diddy did was wrong, and we hope this serves as a reminder that everyone deserves privacy. Travis added, we appreciate the support from our fans, but we're just trying to navigate this like any other couple. Everyone deserves respect. The conference garnered mixed reactions. While some praised their bravery, others continued to tear them apart, fueling the fire of tabloids and online critics. As days turned into weeks, the nightmare lingered. The media frenzy was relentless, and every time Travis stepped on the field, he felt the pressure of scrutiny. Would his performance suffer? Would his teammates look at him differently? But amidst the chaos, Travis found solace in Taylor. They spent quiet evenings together, far from the prying eyes of the world. Their bond deepened as they confided in each other about their fears and dreams. One night, while watching a movie at her place, Travis turned to her, I never expected this to happen, but I'm glad it did. You make all this madness feel bearable. Taylor smiled, her eyes sparkling. We'll get through this together. They can't take away what we have. It was a chilly October night, and Kansas City Chiefs star Travis Kelsey lay in bed, tossing and turning. His mind raced as he tried to shake the unease that had gripped him all evening. The night had started off fine, but something had felt, off. Earlier that day, as Travis scrolled through social media, a video leaked by none other than Diddy himself started trending. The footage featured Travis and his now famous girlfriend, pop sensation Taylor Swift, but it wasn't the cozy, romantic clips fans were used to seeing. Instead, it was something dark, something shocking. The video showed Travis and Taylor at an upscale afterparty, and while the audio was muted, the tension between them was unmistakable. Travis looked agitated, his face tight with anger, while Taylor looked tearful. At one point, she stormed out of the room. It was everything the tabloids had been waiting for, an apparent rift between the NFL tight end and the global superstar. Worse still, whispers began circulating that there was more footage, even more damaging, that could soon be released. As Travis scrolled through the replies on Twitter, his heart sank. Headlines like, Trouble in Paradise, and, Kelsey's Dark Side Revealed, splashed across his screen. Fans were divided, some swore the footage was a misunderstanding, while others jumped to conclusions, blaming Travis for whatever drama had unfolded between him and Taylor. And the source of this chaos? Diddy. The footage had apparently been captured at one of Diddy's exclusive, no phones allowed parties. How the video had surfaced remained a mystery, but the rapper had been quick to fan the flames. He posted cryptic comments like, y'all haven't seen the half of it, and, some stories are bigger than the music. Travis had always admired Diddy as a music mogul and cultural icon, but now the man was directly threatening his public image, his career, and his relationship. Travis lay awake, replaying the video over and over in his mind. The party had been a blur, he and Taylor had exchanged some tense words, but it was nothing major. Right. Then why did the footage make it seem like their relationship was crumbling in front of the world? The pressure of being one half of the most talked about couple in America weighed heavily on him. Everywhere they went, cameras followed. Even his teammates joked about him being, Mr. Swift, and while he brushed it off in public, in private, it gnawed at him. 
He loved Taylor, but their relationship had become a spectacle, a soap opera for millions. Finally, he dozed off, only to plunge straight into a nightmare. In his dream, Travis was walking through a maze of endless hallways, each one lined with flashing cameras and blinding lights. He could hear voices, but they were distorted, warped like they were coming from underwater. Travis Kelsey exposed, Taylor deserves better, is this the real Kelsey? He broke into a run, desperate to escape the cameras. But no matter how fast he ran, the voices grew louder, the flashes brighter. Suddenly, he turned a corner and found himself on the football field, but it wasn't Arrowhead Stadium. It was an arena filled with fans wearing Swifties, merch, Taylor's face was everywhere. He looked down at his jersey, but instead of his name, it read, Taylor's boyfriend. The crowd began to boo, 